Thanks for stopping and listening. You know, there's a phrase, ipsa dixit. It's a Latin phrase. It just means, literally, he said it himself. Meaning it's a dogmatic, unproven statement that I made myself. It's be like if I went into a courtroom and told the judge, here's a fact. And the judge said, well, what's your citation? What court case are you citing? What data are you citing? What expert are you citing? And I said, none. It's because I say so. It's a Dixit. What do you think the judge would do other than laugh at me? He would tell me basically to sit down and be quiet. Unless I can show the proof, they're not going to hold that as to uh, fact. I mean, when you enter evidence, what do you do? You put in facts. Things you believe prove, not just your statement. Matter of fact, most of the time it's not your statement. It's the witness's statement that the trier of fact needs to hear. Not you, not me, not the lawyer. So in today's society, ask yourself, how much of that ipsa dixit is really going on? Think about it. Think about how much people say this is true, but provide no truth, meaning in a sense, no facts. Or they don't give you all the facts, or they misrepresent the facts. But if you're not paying attention, and you don't know where to look, you wouldn't know you're being it was being misrepresented. You just wouldn't. So, as Christ follows, Aren't we supposed to be wise? Aren't we supposed to search and, and understand what is true? And look at the Bereans in Acts chapter 17. What did they do when Paul and Silas was preaching to them? They went to the scriptures and searched out to see if what Paul and Silas were saying was true. Isn't that just as important? Or when we deal with the world in which we live in, to search out, to find the truth, so we can make a decision individually and collectively that makes sense, that's based on fact, that's not based on someone's personality or someone who happens to be very popular, or and we listen to them and just do whatever they say. Isn't doing whatever they say really responding to a ipsa dixit because they say so? Think about it, because in Proverbs chapter 14, it has a statement from someone who is unwise and a person who's prudent. A prudent person looks to see if what's being said is true. The next time someone says, I say so, that's ipsa dixit. And you know what to do with it. Blessing.